Annika Sorenstam is very similar uh, to Tiger. That's what kind of made golf fascinating through 2000 is that you had two athletes, especially two who were uh, friendly with each other, had played the occasional practice round and, and even texted each other after winning majors. Uh, she won 54 tournaments, uh, which, which is more than all but, but five other players had, had won in their career, the likes of, of legendary figures, your Mickey Wrights and Kathy Whitworths and, and such. Uh, but the 54 wins and the, and the eight majors, uh, again, was far better than anyone else. Um, I think one of the more staggering numbers for Annika was, was finishing in the top 10 almost 75% of the time. That's, that's three out of four tournaments. She's no worse uh, than 10th. Than um, throughout the entire decade, she, she missed only two cuts of all the tournaments she ever played. Uh, the, the only question that will probably come up with Annika is, is did she have much competition? That's an age-old question that's also going to face Tiger. Was there no one to challenge her, or was she that much better than that? Yeah, there were challengers. They just didn't look like one. Um, and similar to, to Tiger, uh, if you're looking at, at, at numbers, they'll blow you away. Uh, then you go look at, at the moments, and, and with Annika, there's, there's a couple of them. And, and the one that'll probably stand out uh, is, is going to be the 59 that she shot. No other woman had ever hit golf's magic number. No one had ever shot better than, than 61. Uh, Annika not only shot 59, she missed a birdie putt on the last hole to shoot 59. She, it looked like she might birdie everything in sight. Uh, and that led to, to her really going out on a, on a limb. Um, she's a, a terrific person uh, and, and has always conducted herself beautifully. Um, has been seen as being somewhat shy and I, th I think that's, that's just part of, of, of who she is and the field she's in. And then she goes out on a limb and, and invites herself in some respects to play on the PGA Tour, which no uh, woman had done in, in 58 years. Uh, and that was one of the, the greatest amounts of pressure I think I've ever seen. You know, the, the way she performed those two days, she missed the cut, um, but she gave it a good run. She looked like she belonged. And it was, it was interesting because in that era, uh, this decade of a lot of women trying to compete against the men, whether it was Michelle Wee or Susie Whaley or, or uh, Laura Davies, Sabre Pack, etc., Annika was the one that, that for the most part, was mostly accepted. It's almost as if she had earned her her, her right to, to try that. Um, so those were really the two big moments. The, the majors were, were were great, and she won eight of them. Um, about the only thing that she didn't do that she set out to was was to try to win the Grand Slam. She made it halfway there, uh, but she won the LPGA Championship three years in a row, which no one had had ever done. And she won five times the the money title and Player of the Year. And she never really gave up the number one spot until she was about to retire.